to attack, so then I'm going to go to no help. That's a promise. And I'm here, I'm crossing, I'm finally meant to supply. That's just the three minutes in. Worst defeat since a three-nil loss against the Czech Republic 11 years ago. Please don't forget any easy for you wouldn't think. But next up on Tuesday, the meeting with the world champion France and Paul Pogba. A little bit there he is. He posted this on Instagram a bit earlier. He says, all his life, as he's taking part in training with the national team. Still got those filters. Keepy uppy, and this keepy uppy, and that has its very best. Now, back then, try that again. <laughs> Um, the future of uh, David Boyata was one of the big counter talking points in Scotland. Boyata was linked with a mutual The final round of the British Masters is well on the ground, live on Sky Sports Golf. Eddie Pepper sees off in the pouring rain of the Three shot lead. It's a good shot. We feel it back. I mentioned Stark in between as well recently. Uh, that was that did a lot for me. Um, in a way of confidence, because I feel very comfortable on Sunday leading what was the United States who was really stuck to Qatar. And after that, you know, recognise that at the beginning of the day, something might not go to plan out there, especially with these conditions. That it's you know, probably more likely to happen that a uh, hurdle gets in the way at some point in the round as opposed to the those nice conditions. So, you know, recognising that, and then, like you say, just being patient and uh, also recognising the fact that I've left for three days now. So I'm well, clearly doing something you know, pretty well that's keeping me ahead of everyone else. So there's no real change in the world. It's more the same. Now it's a game that should be taking place at Tottenham's new stadium, but constructive delays mean that Wembley will once again play host to the Winnipeg Sarkin. Today's clash between the Seattle Seahawks and Oakland Raiders will be played in the 22nd slate in the UK and could be the last for Oakland before they become these Las Vegas Raiders. A defeat that led to the sacking of head coach Dennis Allen. Derek Carr was a rookie in that side and wants to prove just how much he's improved since. Well, last time here, I was out there just throwing the ball hard, you know, just, just trying to figure things out. But does that work? Oh, no, nope, that didn't work. You know, those kind of things. Uh, now, for the Seahawks is their first visit to the UK, making the 27th of the 32 NFL teams to play the season game in London. So the head coach Pete Cowell may not be overly familiar with the new Wembley, but he's fully aware of the stadium's history. Big, I 
guess we get some big crowd too. Outside Jackson, you know, come all the way over here. <laughs> <laughs> The Australian plays back the front line in real sound. Look at this. Why he's a two time winner here. Closing with a eight on the bar round of 60 points. Look at this. He's quite good. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Uh, Charles Howell III put up a contender for shot of the day. An eagle at the seventh. Look at this. Oh, keep going. It's in. Oh. Brilliant. Paul Casey finished in the top 20 after a final round 68. Him on 18, 18 under par for the tournament. And the winner, if there were any doubts for Leishman, then they were put to bed when he reached 25 under par at the 16th. And what was in the end a very comfortable victory was sealed like this. What a performance, Mark Leishman wins the CIMB Classic, and he wins it easily.
Alongside me this afternoon is former TV and BBL coach Tony Gargalotti. Tony, great to see you. You were here last year. Uh, how did it go to with the players last year? Exactly the same. We know the rules. Players might not know the rules as such, but as that competition gets going and all of those juices keep going, I've been with us some fantastic things happen. Yeah, it's the top eight teams from the British Basketball League. The London Lions are the defending champions. Can they do it again, or who are you backing this year? Well, uh, this is their home court, okay, the Copper Box here in London. Um, so they've got to be one of the favourites, but uh, I think Newcastle Angels look one of the strongest teams so far in the first three weeks of the season. So I make them slight favourites, London second and then you can't discount Leicester and I also look for Worcester as being uh, the dark horse. Yeah and it is the Copper Box Arena as you mentioned. What is the atmosphere like in here? What well, can the viewers expect? It's really exciting. Uh, some of the players, the coaches, um, the fans, you can see there's a buzz about this. Um, a little bit, you know, it's relaxed at the moment but I think when the game start, um, it's going to get really going. Yeah, we're looking forward to this one, Tony. Thank you very much. Please join us. We are live on Sky Sports Mix and Sky Sports Arena from 1 o'clock. Joined her in the lead and the fourth birdie came at the 11th. <coughs> Chun looked in danger of dropping the shot at the 12th but produced this to save Carl. Finish with a far to give a free shot. 